your first love? My first love? Yeah, here we no go. No problem. What was your, what was your my first love? My first love, I was 12. Her name was Angela. She was from England. We had a kiss on the back of Daly's Hill. I was madly in love with her for about three weeks, and then some other guys came along and swept her away. My first love, my first kiss. Oh, my God. All I know is I was very innocent. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know, I don't know. <laughs> These days I'm not so innocent like. I ask you, do you remember your first kiss? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. You do. Yeah, you I do. still think about it. Can you tell me a little bit about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was long. Yeah. And How'd you was... know it was together? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh god. No. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh no, I don't think, uh, I can't remember a name. <laughs> My first kiss, I do. It was spin the bottle down the water barracks. <laughs> it was very recent, actually. Uh, but yeah, I, will, I, I do remember my first love. Okay, do you remember your first love? I do. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? I'd rather not. It didn't, it didn't work out that well. <laughs> I do, yeah. Do you want to tell me about that? <laughs> no, I can't. That's all I can remember. <laughs> uh, my first kiss was... Actually, no, I don't remember. I don't remember the first one. <laughs> uh, I think I was with my girlfriend when I was about 17. I was very nervous. Um, and I kind of felt I had to get it over with. Um, and it was actually with a girl who... It was her first kiss as well. Um, and I think she had the same sentiment as me. She just wanted to get it over it as well. Well, my first kiss was hilarious. Because <laughs> I thought it was only on television. I never thought a man really kissed you. <laughs> <laughs> so when he kissed me, I said, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs>I think when I looked into this one's eyes, or in general, to be honest. Primary oh, school? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say I ever realised Yeah, I don't think it was a realisation. It's just something that you know, maybe. Yeah, no, I couldn't say I ever thought I'm straight. No. I first realised that you were straight. I never, I, I never thought there was anything else when I was small. <laughs> All the time, <laughs> I'd say. Yeah, all the time, yeah. Do you know why? Attracts the lads, I am <laughs> not sure really how to answer this. Just something deep inside me told me I was. Even when I was very small, I always assumed I was straight and then it turned out that I was. And do you think gay people are the same thing? Um, recently, yes, I've begun to realise that... So, you know... If I see a girl that stands out to me, you know, it's that kind of way. I get attracted to girls easily, so that's when I know that I'm straight. When you first realised that you were straight? Um, I'm not straight. I'm not straight. Okay, so you're gay? Yeah. And when did you realise that? When I was 14, I think. Okay. I was 14 in school, yeah. And do you think that that makes you any different than anybody else? Not really. Like, it's not like something I would mention when I talk to someone like... Um... Probably when I got a crush in like, when I was like four. <laughs> yeah, when you got your... Yeah, probably not. Crush on a guy. Yeah, one of Fionn's friends. My brother's friends, I like them. Um, I'm actually not straight. <laughs> uh, so, I think I realised that I wasn't when I was about 15, maybe, so... Um... And why did you realise that I wasn't? I just found that I was more visually attracted to women than, you know, and the half and half, it's, you know, a bit both. Well, I, I, I went out with a girl for a while, and then I realised that I wasn't into girls as much as I was into boys, so... I'm, I'm married and I've got four kids, um, but I have a firm belief that there is that kind of binary, uh, heterosexual, homosexual um, tag. I think there's, a, there's certainly a spectrum, and I fall somewhere on that spectrum. Um, I don't think it's kind of more of a learning curve. I don't think it's a, like a dead-on thing. Um, it's like I'm 19 at the moment, so I don't think I'll ever. Like I don't. I'm, I'm far from really discovering who I am as a person. And sexuality is such a huge part of people. I don't. I don't think I'm 100% sure. So I couldn't honestly say. Really. Okay. Do you think that you're 
I like the way you assumed I was straight wearing this. <laughs> That's up in the air. Okay. Um, I haven't really figured it out yet. Um, I'm actually bisexual and I realised at a very young age um, I was very ashamed of it and I didn't come out until about two months ago to my parents. I think there's a really big stigma still around bisexuality so I was really scared about that and I am still scared about it. Uh, yeah, as, as long as it's two concerning adults, I don't, I don't think why anybody else's opinion is, is right, uh, is, is, should affect it, I mean... Well, I can't imagine why they can't. Okay. It, just, it doesn't seem right that they can't have their people or people, so what would be the difference? As I said to my daughter, we're left-handed, most people are right-handed, we're still the same. So gay, straight, left-handed, right-handed, it's the same. It should never be used as a political thing. Marriage is not about political representation, it's about declaration of love between two people. I think everybody has a right to be happy. No matter where you come from, no matter what society is, I think everyone deserves to feel loved, everyone deserves to be feeling respected and wanted and have a place in this world. This is about giving everyone in our society the same respect, um, allowing them to, to love the person that they want to love openly and without um, you know without any reference to whether this is requires consent from anybody else or not you know it's simply it's about love and about everyone having the, the, the equal access to love if you're if you're a different color it's a race if you're gay it's a race you know what I mean if you're Muslim it's a race if you're Christian it's a race so ra ra race comes in every different ways not just true to where you're from so like being gay is another race and it's what, you know what I mean, it's, it's life, everything's about life, you know what I mean? So everybody should have the right and equal to live their own life and be happy to what they love doing, you know what I mean? I think and no matter who you love, you should be entitled to marry whoever you like, no matter if it's two males or two females or a male and a female. I'm a big believer in equal rights for everyone, I believe that everyone deserves equal rights in this country and that's it's a, a progressive thing for Ireland, it's a great thing for Ireland. I, I've, I have many friends of all different races, nat nationalities and, and uh, sexual orientations and I think it's a great thing for Ireland that we're finally catching up with the rest of the world. Because I think we're a great people and everyone in society should be included in that. Man. As a good friend of mine says, uh, I hope, uh, why should all the heterosexual people have the problems? <laughs> But no, I think it's an equal right. I'd be all for it and I'd be voting for it. Vote yes. Okay. Vote yes. Vote yes. Vote yes. I'm going to vote, vote yes. yes. I'm going to vote yes. Vote yes on the 22nd. Vote yes on the 22nd of May.